Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why I bought this, the A6 Metaspeed Sky Paris, rather than the A6 Metaspeed Sky Edge. I'm making this video because I bought the original Metaspeed Sky and Metaspeed Edge. This is the Edge, this is the Sky. And then I bought the Metaspeed Sky Plus. I loved all of them. And when ASICS announced their new Metaspeed Paris Duo, I thought, well, I'll buy one of them. But the question is, which one to buy? My original plan was to make one video outlining why I chose the Sky Paris over the Edge Paris. It was way too long, so I've cut it into two videos. This one, which is just explaining the differences between the two shoes as I understand them to be, and why I bought one rather than the other. And the second one, an initial review of the Sky Paris would go out 24 hours after this one. The Paris Sky versus the Paris Edge. I thought of buying both. ASIC sent me a discount code on my birthday. I originally used it to get percentage off the original Sky and I think the original Edge. But anyway, it wasn't, it didn't work this time round. So I, and I didn't want to get both shoes and send one back. That's not my, my MO. So I had to choose one and you might be in the same boat. And in this particular rabbit hole, I'm going to tell you why I chose the Sky, the Paris Sky. And hopefully you'll explain in the, in the comments why you chose it or why you chose the Edge instead. As always, I haven't watched any other videos about these particular shoes because I want to avoid groupthink. But I think you should watch them. I mean, that's the purpose of, of making these kind of videos. I think you should watch as many as possible to get, try and get a, a rounded view. But thanks to Chris and Bartek who sent me videos that I haven't watched yet. But the links will be in the description and I will watch them after this goes live. In 2021, ASICS launched The Edge and The Sky. They're quite different shoes. They introduced the concept of different shoes for your cadence running and your stride running. In 2022, The Sky Plus was closer to The Edge Plus. And in 2024, the Sky Paris is closer still to the Edge Paris. When they were launched, I looked on the ASICS site to see what the difference between the two shoes are. The upper is the same, the lacing is the same. The midsole is different, we'll come back to that later. The outsole is different, there are different colors which helps you identify the two shoes hard enough to identify the Sky from the Edge and the Sky Plus from the Edge Plus. The outsole is different colors, one's red, one's black. And there's also a larger hole in the outsole of the Sky. The original duo had substantially different weights and stack and heel drops. Now the Sky Edge is heavier at 185 grams, 6.53 ounces, than the Sky Paris at 183 grams, 6.46 ounces, claimed by ASICS. Marginal differences, but the Edge is slightly heavier. In terms of stack and the drop, well, they're identical at 39.5 millimeters, with a drop of 5 mil to 34.5 millimeters. The colorways are the same. In terms of sustainability, it's the same. The onboarding is the same. we it come to the running field, grip and traction should be about the same. The performance in the US Olympic trials, in the, there was a variety of edges and skies and, and, and prototypes and non-prototypes. And in the women's, they came sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. In the men's, they came second and fourth. So a variety of different shoes with lots of different performances. And the both shoes cost the same. I'm gonna read out some of what ASICs have to say on their website. The Metaspeed Sky Paris racing shoes are designed for stride style runners who are looking to start fast and finish faster. Now, if I flip over to the edge, it's saying exactly the same thing, but they're for cadence style runners who want to start fast and finish faster. You can, we can debate what a cadence and, and a stride style runner is in a bit. And runners wearing these shoes, this is the edge, Paris. Runners wearing these shoes will be able to increase their speed by increasing number of strides and conserve energy with each step. So it's looking to increase the number of strides. I'll go back to the uh, Paris Sky, the Sky Paris. Runners wearing these shoes will be able to increase their speed by lengthening their strides while conserving energy with each step. So with the Sky Paris, you're lengthening your step and with the Sky Edge, you're increasing your cadence. Now this is what ASICs have to say on their website. To talk about the original duo and all the stats to do with all these very shoes are in the description below. My size is a UK 12, it's a US men's 13, EU 48. And these two shoes are quite different and it's more understandable difference between the speed and the cadence proposition and how they're designed. The original duo, I mentioned it was quite clear cut between the two. The Edge was much the lighter shoe, 225 grams, 7.94 ounces versus in the Sky, 242 grams, 8.4 five, four ounces, again, in my size. And the drop was very significant. In the sky, it was 33 to 28 millimeters, a five mil drop. And in the edge, 
it was 29 so lower stack to 21 millimeters and that's an eight mil drop so quite different shoes for a quite different proposition i really liked both originals i ran my personal best in the sky in the buckeye arizona marathon and uh, i really enjoyed that shoe i picked it because it had the greater cushioning for the and more foam for the the longer run but i actually had a, a really great run in the metaspeed edge one of my favorite runs ever i i raced my friend con around hoth a 10k around over the hills i'll put the strava link and show a picture of it but quite a lot of elevation ascent and my plan was i had to do one lap he had to do two so he had to do 20k i had to do 10k and i beat him there was uh, 137 meters of vertical elevation in the first 1.71 kilometers and at 13.1 percent incline at one point in time so i picked the edge because it was a much lighter shoe and i felt the angle of attack into the hill would be much better and i when i came down off the hill and ran into hoth it just felt fantastic so i really do have a lot of time for the two original shoes and a different proposition when the plus joe came out i bought the sky plus the stack and the weight both went up the sky plus weighed 249 grams 8.78 ounces slightly heavier than the sky at seven grams but the, the stack and the drop were very different. It was 39 millimeters to 34 millimeters. So at the same drop, say five millimeter drop, but the stack went up by six millimeters. When you look at the shoe, you see a lot of bulbousness here, but some of this is a sort of almost false swelling because it's coming up the side of, of the shoe as you're, as you're wearing it. It's not like that's actually the shape of the uh, sole that you're standing on. But nonetheless, the stack went up and the drop stayed the same. ASICs talk a lot about stride style runners and cadence style runners. And to get a handle on where I am and all that, in Buckeye in the Sky, I ran at 177 steps per minute, maximum of 223 steps per minute. I got a little bit of a sprint at the end and 102 centimeters stride. But in Berlin, I ran pretty much the same time in the Sky Plus, and I had exactly the same steps per minute, 177 steps per minute, with a maximum of 187. I was a bit more tired at the end, didn't do much of a sprint in uh, Berlin, but I went up one centimeter average in my stride at 103 centimeters. So the additional foam was helping me out. When I ran the Rotterdam Marathon, I ran in the Vaporfly 3s. The steps per minute was slightly less. Kate's with 176 steps per minute with a maximum of 222. I had a bit of a sprint at the end. I thought I was actually going quite fast in the sprint at the end, but significantly I increased my step to 107 centimeters stride length on average and then yesterday i ran a 10k and scary's here and i did it in 181 steps per minute at 247 steps per minute at the end i was really flying in these and my stride was significantly longer at 115 centimeters so your stride my stride will naturally get longer because i'm going faster in a 10k than i am going in a marathon and my my cadence is roughly the same and all that is to say that when I want to increase my pace in a shoe, I want to increase my stride length. My cadence is pretty okay. I want to increase my stride length. The specifications of the Sky Paris and the Edge Paris are now closing in, coming much closer together than the original pair. They've got the same stack and drop, pretty much the same weight. The big difference is in the plate shape and the position. There's more foam under it in the sky. I'll show a picture going backwards and forwards, but you kind of see it in the forefoot here. You'll see that it, it, I'll flick between the Paris and the edge and you'll, you'll see it. And um, yeah, it's harder to choose between the two shoes. I found all the ASICs publicity material confusing. The edge, it speeds up your stride. It's suited to high cadence runner. The sky extends your stride, which is suited to taking longer strides. Both say they're designed to extend to stride length. I found the whole thing very confused and I'm not entirely sure that that people speed up just by either increasing their stride length or increasing their cadence. It's for me for certain it's a bit of both. You can see that in the streak fly data versus the any any of the, the marathon shoes and I think it's a little bit of both. Now maybe there are people who will have exactly the same cadence and just increase their stride but perhaps like a lot of people you want to be running at the same pace from the marathon throughout. It's not like you're you're really looking for a shoe that will extend towards the end you want to go as you go along and from that point in time and for that reason i picked the sky because i think with the more foam under the plate it'll give me more spring and a longer stride length but i can't say i'm 100 percent convinced i do what i always do in terms of trying to figure out performance i look at what other people are doing i looked at the mix in the olympic trial there was no clear signal out of that i looked at 
Yep. This was after she arrived. I looked at the uh, New York City Half Marathon at the weekend. I saw Gladys Chip Karui. She was in the Sky Paris. Zuhair Talbi was in the Sky Paris. They both came second in the men's and women's. At least I think they were in Sky Paris. It looked that's what it looked like from the uh, from the rear shots. And yeah, again, it was no clear differentiation between the two shoes in terms of a lot of people wearing one or the other. In the end, I wonder is all this cadence versus stride stuff simply marketing, particularly as the two shoes have come together. The original one, I bought the argument a lot more and they were certainly very different shoes. And just in terms of trying to pick one, one just from what I can find out, it looked like the sky was one for me. But I think, I think a lot of this is going down to be your personal feel and nothing to do with cadence versus stride. I doubt it's just me that's confused between the two offerings. Maybe it is, I'm happy to stand here and you take pot shots at me for that. But I think it's very confusing. I think it's very confusing for people trying to run running stores. I know the Run Hub here in Dublin only has the Sky Paris. I looked at Runner's Need, they don't have it out yet in, in the UK. I'm not sure when it's coming out, but I couldn't see it available in the UK. But on Runner's Need, they had the Sky Plus only. And in the ASICS store in Dublin, I did go in because I didn't want to buy two shoes and just send them back. I thought that was a waste. I did want to try, at least try them on. And ASICS in Dublin, well, they're not getting either the, the Edge Paris or the Edge Sky. They're getting neither of them. So I think it's very difficult to make decision and there is a lot of confusion. My prediction is that as the specifications are closing in, I don't think there will be two separate lines in the future of the Metaspeed range. If indeed it continues on as the Metaspeed range, I can't imagine there's going to be another Metaspeed Edge and Metaspeed Sky version. I think they'll combine them two and they'll call them something like Metaspeed London, perhaps Metaspeed Chicago or Metaspeed New York. It just looks to me like these two shoes are morphing together and for the moment the, sky, the cadence stride argument is just confusing and I'm not sure it adds up so much when there's so little difference between the shoes. Let's hear what you have to say in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it would be great if you'd hit the like button. As always, you've got some stuff in the description below. I'll happily answer any questions you put into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there. It's the right videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.